<clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory. Glory to God. Shalom, the Lord bless you. <clears throat> I welcome you in the mighty name. I'm clearing my throat and it's getting worse. I don't know. <clears throat> Shalom, the Lord bless you. I'm sorry about that. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The title of this particular message says, Someone is about to ring your phone all night just to talk to you. They will ring your phone like all night just to talk to you and to beg for your forgiveness. Now, one thing about the Bible is that sometimes when we look at the things that the Bible is saying to us, it's not... Uh, it's not sometimes according to our taste. There are things that you really want to do, but the Bible says otherwise. For example, the Bible says, vengeance is of the Lord. That is what the Bible says. So sometimes we get so hurt. Sometimes we feel so down. Sometimes we get so frustrated when people hurt us and do what they um, are doing to us or what they did to us. But... The Bible says, vengeance is of the Lord. Come on. This person hurt me so bad. And I really wish I could reciprocate it back. And you're telling me, vengeance is of the Lord. You know, but at the end of the day, the Bible always works out for our good. And that is why the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, the Bible says, all things work together for good to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose there is somebody who is about to ring your phone all night all day they're about to ring your phone all night all day because they want to talk to you they will be desperate to talk to you they will be desperate to explain things to you they will be desperate to communicate with you they will be desperate to want to hear, to want you to listen to, to them they will be extremely and so desperate <clears throat> now this is not one of those prophetic words that you you're just looking at it like okay I want to watch and see it come to pass this is what is going to happen whenever people feel like you're desperate around them they take you for granted whenever people feel like you don't have options they take you for granted Whenever people feel like you're naive, they take you for granted. It's beauty. It's a beautiful thing to be naive, but it is very dangerous to people whose heads have been opened, whose eyes have been opened. There is somebody who looks at you and sees that this lady or this man is naive, and they're obviously going to take advantage of you. And once they start doing that, they will keep on taking advantage of you. So there are people who you meet, and when you take their kindness, or their naivety for granted. What happens when you take advantage of their naivety? What happens is someday you're going to realize that you will lose them because they're never going to stay um, naive forever. They're never going to stay ignorant forever. They're never going to stay on your path forever. The world would not always revolve around you forever. So there are people you meet, they take advantage of you, they do a lot of things against you, and then they let you know that they're in love with you or they love you, but sincerely, down and deep down in their hearts, they are taking advantage of you. But they are just making you to feel like, I'm here for you, I love you, and blah, blah, and all that. Such people are very dangerous people. But one thing I've come to understand is that God would always let us go through some roads because he wants us to learn. Sometimes you shouldn't bother too much about what happened. You should bother about the lessons and about the deliverance that God delivered you out of there. Now, I want to say this. There are things that happens to us 
and we cry and say, God, why did you let this? And God is saying that I want you to learn the lesson. I want you to know the truth for yourself so that you're going to be an amazing person and you're going to be a better person. Someone took advantage of your love for them. Someone took advantage of your sacrifices for them. Someone took advantage of your emotions for them. Someone took advantage of your heart for them. Someone took advantage of your naivety towards them. Someone took advantage of your ignorance. They made you feel like they were into you, but it was a lie. They made you feel like they could not do without you, but it was a lie. They took advantage of you and they were doing crazy things behind your back. They will come ring your phone all day and all night, wanting to talk to you, wanting to send you messages and asking for your forgiveness and begging you to take them back. You know why? Because you were pure. Your heart was good. And that is why they are coming back. Your heart was extremely good. Your heart was extremely beautiful. And that is why they are coming back. It pays to have a good heart. Now, the disadvantage of having a good heart is that a lot of people take advantage. A lot of people want that opportunity of you. But the thing about it is that people do not know what you go through. They don't understand. So people who are coming only want to make use of the good heart that you have. I want to pray with you and for you that God will continue to increase you. The only reason they are coming back to you is because you're succeeding. Is because you're healing is because you're getting better if you were not succeeding and getting better they will never have come back to you I pray that God will keep increasing you and you will heal for good in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for you you are preserved and you're protected may divine wisdom come upon you to know what is good and what is bad to know what to accept and what not to accept in Jesus name I just made a prayer of wisdom because there are people, if you tell them accept, they will not accept. There are people, if you tell them don't accept, they will accept. Left to me, I wanted to say don't accept. Yes, but I'm praying for divine wisdom so that when it's bestowed upon you, you will know who to accept and who not to accept again into your life. In Jesus' name, amen. If I'm speaking to you, please type it in the comment section. Connect yourself, make that confession. Say, Lord, heal me completely and say, I will continue to succeed. In Jesus' name, you will continue to succeed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please like, share, and subscribe. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. Keep your cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you. And may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. I love you. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Please keep praying for me. Don't stop praying for me. Call my name in the place of your prayers. I love you so much. God bless you. Shalom.